Hello students. The next type under transformation equations is increasing the roots. In our previous video, we learnt how to diminish the roots of an equation. Now here in this topic, it is, it is about to increase the roots by alpha. Actually, increasing the roots by alpha is same as diminishing the roots by negative alpha. Now here we will see a problem on it. Now here in this problem, they are asking us to increase by 7 the roots of the equation 3x power 4 plus 7x cubed negative 15x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now an equation is given here and they are asking us to increase the roots of this equation by 7. Doing so is same as diminishing the roots of this equation by negative 7. So we will follow the same procedure which I have elaborated in our previous video. And here because it is increased by 7, we have to diminish by negative 7 as per this rule. So now we will write the coefficients. So 3, 7, negative 15 and then 1, negative 2. Now we have to follow the same procedure of synthetic division which we have followed in our previous video. So this 3 comes as such. 3 multiplied with negative 7 is negative 21. So, we have to write that here. So, 7 negative 21 is negative 14. Then, negative 14 multiplied with negative 7. So, both are negative. So, when they are multiplied, it becomes positive. And 7 multiplied by 14 is 98. So, that we have to write here. Then, negative 15 plus 98. So, we have to subtract and we have to write the largest number sign. So, when we subtract this, we obtain 83 and we have it is positive 83. Now, 83 has to be multiplied with negative 7. So, plus multiplied with a negative sign is negative. And 83 multiplied with 7 gives us 581. And then, 1 minus 581. So, that will be negative 580. So now negative sign multiplied with negative sign will be positive and 7 multiplied with 580 will give us 4060. If you you can just multiply and check it out and now here we have negative 2 plus 4060. So we have to subtract and it will be positive number because the larger number has a positive sign. So it will be 0 I mean a 4058. So, this is the constant term. So, this will be the constant term. And then, of the required equation. Now, after this, again we have to diminish these uh, values by 7. That is with negative 7. So, diminish the roots by negative 7. So, we have to write here negative 7. And so, this 3 comes as such as we saw in the previous method. And then, 3 multiplied with 7. And if we have a negative sign, so negative 21. So when we see here, both are negative. So we have to add. So it will be 35. And we have the negative sign. So negative 35. Now negative into negative will become positive. 7 multiplied with 35 will give us 245. Now both are positive. So we have to add it. And we will obtain 328. Now 328 multiplied with negative 7 will give us negative 2,296. Now, if you see here, here we have a negative sign and here also we have a negative sign. And so, when we have to add and we have to write a negative sign here, so addition of these two numbers will be 2,876. And this will give us the coefficient of the x term. Now, again we have to uh, divide by negative 7. So, now again this 3 comes here. 3 multiplied with negative 7 is negative 21. So, addition of these 2 is 56 and we have to write the negative sign. So, minus into minus is plus 7 multiplied with 56 and it will give us 392. And now both are positive so we have to add and so the total will be 720. And so this will be the coefficient of the uh, x squared term. Now again there are two terms left out for which again we have to do the division so again we have to write negative 7 so as per the division so this comes down here so this multiplied with negative 7 is negative 21 and the addition of these two is 77 and we'll have a negative sign and this will be the coefficient of 
x cube term and this uh, 3 will be the coefficient of x power fourth term and so therefore the transformed equation will be now if you see 3x power 4 so it will be 3x to the power 4 negative 77x cube and then plus 720x square and then negative 2876x and we have the constant term as 4058 so that we have to write and it is positive so plus 4058 equal to 0 is the transformed equation which we have obtained after increasing the roots of this equation that is the given equation by 7. So this is the method of the problem. Hope you have understood this. We will see one more problem of the same type. Now here the next question is increase by 2 the roots of the equation thus and hence solve it. So now here they have given an equation to us and they are asking us to increase the roots of this equation by 2 and one extra question is here that is they are asking to solve this equation also. So now what we can do we can transform this equation. So how can we do the transformation now they are asking to increase the roots by 2. Increasing the roots by 2 is same as diminishing the roots of this equation by negative 2. So we have to take this negative 2 here and we can write the coefficients here 1, negative 1, negative 10 and then 4 and here we have 24. Now what happens this 1 comes here so it will be 1, negative 2 multiplied with 1 is negative 2. Now we have to add these 2 and we will have a negative sign so that will be 3 and negative 2 multiplied with negative 3 is positive 6. So it will be 6 here. Now addition of these two where we have one negative and one positive. So we have to subtract and the, we will get it negative 4 here. So multiply these two it will be 8 and addition of these two is 12. Now 12 multiplied with uh, negative 2 is negative 24 and so the remainder is 0 which means that there is no constant term. Uh, so it uh, the constant term is 0. Fine. Now next again we have to diminish by negative 2. So this 1 has to be written here. Negative 2 multiplied with 1 is negative 2 here. And then we have to add these 2 and we will get negative 5. So I will just raise it. So negative 5. And negative 5 multiplied with negative 2 is 10. And addition of these 2 is I mean uh, negative 4 plus 10. So we have to subtract. And so we will get 6 and the highest number has a positive sign so it will be positive 6. And now 6 multiplied with negative 12 is, I mean negative 2 is negative 12. And this also gives us the reminder 0. And what is this term? This is actually coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x term is 0 which means that there is no x term in it also. Now next we have to again uh, do it by negative 2. So further we get here. 0 I mean uh, 1 1 comes down as such and then multiply this 1 with negative 2 and so we get negative 2 here and then we have to add these 2 and so it is negative 7 7 uh, negative 7 multiplied with negative 2 so what is the multiplication it is 14 and minus into minus is plus so it will be plus 14 here now when we add these two we get 20 and this 20 is the coefficient of the x square term now again there are two more uh, things left out so we have to again do it by negative 2 so here we have 1 this 1 comes down so 1 multiplied with negative 2 is negative 2 here so negative 7 negative 2 will give us negative 9 and so this will be the coefficient of x to the power 3 and this 1 will be the coefficient of x power 4 term and so therefore the transformed equation will be 1 x power 4 so it will be x power 4 negative 9 x cube and then positive 20 x square fine and then we don't have the x term because it is 0 here and we don't have the constant term also as it is 0 over there so we can 
equate this to 0. So this is the equation which we have obtained after increasing the roots of the given equation by 2. And now in this question they have asked us to solve it also. First we have to they are asking us to increase the roots of this equation by 2 and find the transformed equation and then we are they are asking us to solve it. So let us solve this equation. So now if you see in all the three terms x square is common. So we can take it out. So x squared when we take out the left out term here will be x square negative 9. The left out term here is here it is x cubed. Two terms have gone out. So we will have an x term here plus 20 will be equal to 0. Now from this what we will obtain we will obtain that x squared is equals to 0 first. And also this will be equal to 0. So x squared negative 9 plus 20 is equal to 0. Now if you see here from this x squared equal to 0 we will obtain x equal to 0 once and again x is equals to 0. So we obtain the value of x to be 0 here because x, square, x is of multiplicity 2. So it is x squared equal to 0. So therefore we obtain two values of x to be 0. Now here uh, what we can do is we can uh, follow the hill method where we have to uh, do the factorization now. Now if you see 20 multiplied with 1 is 20 only. So now we have to find two numbers in such a way that the sum of it will be negative 9 and the product of it will be 20. So if you see 5 4 times is 20 and if both the numbers are negative we can add it and we can obtain negative 9 here. So what will be the thing so x squared so this negative 9x can be written as negative 5x negative 4x plus 20 is equal to 0 because 5 4 times is 20. And now in these two terms x is common so we will have x negative 5 and in these two terms negative 4 is common so we will have x negative 5 equal to 0. And now from this if you see these two terms can be taken common out. So x negative 5 multiplied with s x negative 4 is equal to 0 and from this hence we obtain x is equal to 5 and another value of x is equals to 4. And so obtained x to be equal to 5 as one of the value and x is equals to 4 as other value and we have found all the four values of the transformed equation. So hence it is solved. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.